In today's video, I'm gonna give you the recipe. That's right, the recipe for mixing texture for walls and for ceilings. Coming up next. I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and if this is your first time here, can I just say welcome to you. We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you the right way to mix up texture if you intend on texturing a wall or doing a ceiling. Now you're going to want to start off with all-purpose joint compound, a five-gallon pail or a box. Now maybe you're wondering, what's the difference between the joint compound you purchase in the box or the joint compound you purchase in the five-gallon pails? And the only difference is this, you're paying for the pail. In the boxes, there tends to be just a little less joint compound than the joint compound found in the pails. Now one of the tools you're going to need is you're going to need one of these. This is what's called a mixing wand and we're going to use this to mix up our joint compound in combination with a drill. So different textures require different consistencies. So you have to be really careful about the water you add. Okay so this is what you look for. If you're going to spray on the texture like an orange pill, then you want the consistency of pancake batter. And so you're going to have to add a fair amount of water to reach that consistency. Don't add all the water at once. Add water, mix, check your consistency, add water as you need it. Then on the other side of the spectrum, there's a texture that you don't add water to. And that's a Spanish knife texture. You just scoop the joint compound out of the bucket and apply it to the surface that you're adding the texture to. Now some textures, they require less water. For example, a skip trowel texture. You're applying that texture by hand with a, with a finish trowel. In addition to adding water, you can also add all-purpose sand or silica sand, especially when you're doing a skip trowel, because that's going to add a little bit more grittiness, a little bit more texture to your texture. And of course, there are the textures that require a bit more water than a skip trowel texture. And that would be a texture that you're applying, well, with a roller, if you want a stipple effect. So when it comes to mixing joint compound for your texture, you really have to consider what texture you're going to apply to your ceiling or to your wall. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time. <laughs>